Hi everyone, I'm Gaurav Pandey, Gaurav Bhaiya. Yeah, today in this lecture, we will talk about that how we can solve the coding questions in the Capgemini Acceler program, right? This is generally a on-campus placement program, but sometimes they offer the off-campus also. So any of you got the detail in the last lecture, right, by the Mohan sir. But now in this lecture, we will talk about how you can solve the coding questions because those will decide how much package you should get, right? So solving one question, you'll get probably 5.75 LPA or if you get solving both the questions, because two questions will be there in 45 minutes. So solving the second question also, you, you can get probably uh, 7.25 LPA annually, right? So that's the thing. But here coding will play a major role, very important for the package, for the last final selection, right? And for the designation also. So you need to take it seriously. Today I'll help you with, with the previous year questions that okay, how they have been asked. And now what are the topics you need to prepare, right? So by which all these things all together will help you out. So let's begin it. And I hope everybody is having energy high. That's what I want to hear in the chat also that yes, sir, energy is high and probably we can crack. So imagine this thing you can crack, you can crack, trust me. So now here, moving to the problem statement. This is a previous year question, which already Capgemini has been asked in their excellence program. So now here, if you see this, the problem say to us, you have a right function that accepts a string which length is len, okay? Now the string has some has in between, okay? In, in it, you have to move all the hashes to the front of the string, return the whole string back and print it. Super quite easier to understand what you will have a string. I have a string where I will have what I will have what I will have basically multiple has in between. I just need to move all these has to the start. So how basically you can do that yeah, there are multiple ways one way is possible that okay basically you can utilize a split math in any language so what are the coding languages are allowed generally here i'll suggest you to prepare in c plus plus python or java these three are very good right and you will have a chance in them but anyhow you have the alternative of c also the c c plus plus java and python or i'll suggest you go for at least python or java or something right if you are good with the c plus that's also fine so now here now here, how will you solve it? Simply, I can use a split method, method number one. Right, what I can do, you tell me. Right, I can do, basically I can split this thing with the help of a star. So I can simply write a split right here, whatever the array in any language, right? And remember, Kappa Gemini is more into the pseudo code. So here, these will be the proper coding questions. So they can ask the pseudo code in their technical index. What are the pseudo code? They are the general format of the code, which are not the actual code, but they will help you to derive the actual code. Those are known as the pseudo code. So now I'll write a pseudo code. So let's say I have a str here and probably I'll write a split method that will work based on this has. Okay, so basically what will I have? I will have an array here basically, right? Where I will have like this move. I will have an array here, right? and then i will have a hash here so basically you see if you see this thing so all the hash value has been removed so two in terms of a string in front so this is what a new array will be created and then you can like convert into one string and again if you convert one by one you concatenate all of them by doing the join and you will have basically this thing and now here how will you how will you put this hash so now you count the number of element you have at the starting you put that same number of has here right but now you need to check all the right and you're doing this thing but maybe what if there was a last time set so you have to count somewhere right whenever you have this has so you count it and put at the starting one simple possible approach that second method is possible okay i don't want to create a separate array i don't want to do that all this process i need another simpler process another simpler process which is possible what you can do is uh, basically when you iterate on this you created two strings, let's say str1 and str2. In str1, basically, you'll put all the hashes, let's say. In str2, you put all the other words. So here, this move, so here you will have in str2. So here you will have your string, right? And then eventually at the last to concatenate both of them. You will have your answer, right? Another approach. So now you understand, okay, how we can probably solve it. Now let's go and understand and at the last of the selection, I'll tell you what are the important topic you need to prepare. So now here, 
now here we have the sample code in java so we have this code in java you can convert in any language i just want to tell you the logic so basically i have a man method in java you need a man method to execute your code so i have a man method where i'm taking a scanner class to take the input from the user and with the next line i'll take the string as an input i have this string and i'll create a len uh, variable to have the length and i'll create a method move has right where i pass basically my string uh, a or my length here what will happen this move has a method will call this move has method will be called and here you will have your string you will have your the length of the string what you will do tell me you created str1 and str2 you need to iterate on your actual string which is a so you are iterating on your actual string till i here you see it's still i and here you're checking if str here this thing str if that str having any character as it has i will store that into the str1 right otherwise i will store it into the str2 because that is not the hash that is a normal string so i'll store it here and at the end the result will be the concatenation of my str1 and str2 i hope you understood how will you do it right and eventually i'll return my result that's what i'm printing here is it easy to understand so what more focus focus you need to give that okay basically i'll think about the logic i'll read the problem statement carefully right then i will think about the logic then i'll write the logic and this will be the easier for you don't worry right you don't have to uh, you know struggle a lot here now here another thing cap germany another problem statement previous itself cap germany it's an online written test have a coding question wherein the student are given a string with multiple characters so you will have a string with multiple characters that are repeated so you will have a string where multiple character will be repeated right consecutively so they are in sequence you don't have the problem right you are supposed to reduce the size of this string using a mathematical logic given as an example below so what we have to convert you will have a basically a string and you need to do this something so here you see that this was the string this is the output so basically what they have done is that okay a was repeated two times so written okay a is repeated two times b is repeated four times so they have written b4 e was also repeated four times so they have written e4 again f was repeated two times so they have written f2 g was repeated two, three times so they have written g3 so this is what your output is so yeah what are the other ways to possibly calculate you need to count the frequency of each character and put it right there right so two choices you iterate here you take the character check until unless you reach to the another character right and then count it and put it here so let's say i have this character a right i'll go ahead i'll keep checking keep checking by increasing one 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 and eventually when i reach to b i'll say okay i'll stop so basically at one it was a again on the zero index was uh, again a. so here what i'll do i count it two next time i'll start with the b right and then this process can happen and now the simple possible way this was basically directly iterating over the string having a count variable to put the value you can think in this way right now another possible solution can i have a hash map right in few languages you will have a map or something but we call it hash map so here basically what i can do i can use these characters as a key here so let's say this a was and the number of time it will come here i'll count the frequency here so okay first i will check in this map is the value of age available the answer is no i'll put the value with one next time age kept age coming now what i'll do is i'll check here is it available if this is available then increase value by one so which means that a was arrived two times here for b similar thing will happen it was four time for e it was again four time for the f it was two time and for the g it was three times so eventually now here you can iterate on this map and you can have your entire output right so here i have a sample code which will help you that okay how we can have this thing right so now here now here what i have done is i have created a scanner class here basically imported from the util package in java so i have this scanner class right and now i'll take the string from the user and you can write in any language that's not a problem you just need to take the input take the string and this logic i've created a hash map where i will store key as a character and value as an integer right and now here i'm iterating over my string by converting a string into a character array because well, that's where you can apply a for each loop right so now here this two char array will convert our string into a character array and I'm, i'm checking here for example i had this value a a b b c c so here what will happen you tell me here this will be converted into an array so which means that this is how this has been converted into a character array so now this has been this is how this has been converted into a character array okay so now this is what happened here c will get you a value c will get you a value the character right so here one value was a you will check in the map here so map dot put the value of c so this is the map the value of c which is a here you want to put get or default basically will help you this is nothing it's suggested by the bs code so i just only written c comma 
nothing more than that so this is written as c comma 0 so basically here i'll check the value gate or default will do this thing it will go to the map it will check the value if this is available it will give it to you if this is not available the value will be set to 0 here so now here this was not available the value was not available it will give me 0 so 0 plus 1 becomes 1 what will happen in map i have put it 1 next time what will happen again i will have the next value as a so here again i'll check into the map so here Again, is map the value is available? Yes, the value is one. So this time I will have the value as one here. So one plus one becomes two. The value of A will be updated to two. Similar thing will happen with BB also. So first time B will come here, it was not available. So the frequency will be one. Next time B came, it will be two. Next time B came, it will be three. Right. Again, similar thing will happen with the C also. So here, this has a once you add it entire array, this will stop. Correct. You come to this place. You want to create your result. So here I have created a new string by which I can store my result here. And now if you see this thing I'm iterating over my uh, map with the help of key set. So key set will give you an array of the all the keys. So all the key will I have here. So which means that all these keys A, B and C are into a single array. So now here I'm iterating on it. I'm checking that okay result need to be uh, added with that character which is this A. So result previously was empty. So here empty plus A and then you concatenate it with the value of it map.gate c so gate will give you the value which is 2 now next time what will happen next character was b so here it will go and take out the value again it will have character as c it will go and take out the value so this is what your string is ready and once your result is ready you print from here easier now yes or no it's easy or not so here basically if you put your brain you have some sufficient practice you can easily crack this job opportunity right so be ready the people who are opportunists, they are successful. So be that person who can grab the opportunity and those have the sufficient goods. Those have the capability, okay, I can put my eight or 10 hours, right, to practice something, right? And, and I want to get whatever I'm expecting for. This time, this is a Capo Gemini Excellence Program, right? So now here, now here, what are the important topics which you need to prepare? You need to working with the basic with uh, working with numbers, loops, all these things, and other thing, loopings, functions, recursion, uh, arrays, algorithms, number series. Uh, very rare with the, this thing. You can say this very very rare, but you can prepare, right? So string is another important thing. If you are working with numbers, you don't need mathematical logic again. They are same thing. Okay, so here this is also, and now here ask number conversions. Yes, you can have ask I related codes. Yes, advanced array matrix. Then again, no pattern printing is not that much important. Again, stack and queues and link list. This can be important for you. And in some cases, tree and graph also. So tree and graph also. These are the important topics from where you need to prepare. I'll show you from where. So on the prepare stuff, you'll go here for the previous year question papers and the top 100 quotes also. You can refer the preparestar.com. I'll show you how this looks. Okay, so here, this is free resource. So here, go and search for um, Cap Gemini. Cap Gemini Excellence are uh, here coding questions. Okay, so here you will have the previous year coding questions. You come to this place, and now here these are the coding questions which you need to prepare. These two questions we already have solved, remaining you will solve by yourself. So you have the resources. Second practice resources can helpful for you, right? Are uh, not all, but can helpful for you. 150 not out repeater questions. This will help you. Free of course, right? And now here, go topic by topic, start practicing and preparing. You will be really good. Right. Third thing, if you want, okay, I want a live lecture or something, and you want something here, uh, you can go for Prepensta Prime. Right. Here you can find out 200 plus courses, but if you want to purchase some other thing. Also, you have your own like expected courses you need to prepare for. So here, go to this place. Okay. I'll just show you how this looks like. I'll search for uh, coding basics. Okay, so basic coding course. If you're very beginner, go with this basic coding course and you'll be good. So here I'll just uh, continue with the login. I'll show you how this looks like. So this is how this looks like. You see this? You will have complete course in languages, whatever you want. You want in Java, you want in Python. So all these things are really linked with each other, right? In which course, in which language you want, they will be linked from here and directly you can move here. For example, for this, for Java, you click on here and your course will be ready. So here, leave it and get the new course. So on Java, you will have your entire complete coding course, right? Similarly for the other languages also. So now you can prepare anything from here. Here you can get like uh, AIML course also. Lots of things. So go and explore it. 
now in case if you need a financial support or something so one thing i can help you with uh, here if you go to this place uh, purchase page okay so here depends on what month you are taking upon three months will be 3900 but you can have a coupon you, if you can apply pande sir so apply this thing oh i don't think so now this is active anyway but once you'll apply this pande sir coupon code you will have a discount I'll ask the team to up again, you know, active it. Right. Otherwise, another you have another coupon code you can apply here, which you'll get from somewhere in the link you ask in the chat you ask. Somebody will give you. Right. Somebody will give you. That will be helpful for you. Perfect. And I hope uh, you know. Basically, you guys enjoyed this entire thing. Now, again, other important updates from where you can take. That's a very good place. Follow us on the Instagram. Search Prepinsta Off Campus. You will have a Instagram channel where you can get daily updates on the hiring and everything. Again, Discord also for one-to-one -one doubt. Again, Facebook for the new updates. YouTube, you already know. Like and subscribe for all the further videos and updates. And then you have WhatsApp for generalized masses and again Telegram. So these few things. Also, I'll wait for top three comment. Those can get Prepinsta Prime for free. This can also be another help, right? Or if you need a coupon code, an active coupon code, tell me in the chat. Somebody will help you from the team. Cool, yes. Bye bye to all. But I hope you really enjoyed. One humble suggestion to all start learning pattern by pattern, right? And things will be easy for you. And get it done, yeah. That something it has to done, that has to done. Simple. No other factor in life. Bye bye to all. See you in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye bye to all.